So the do's and don'ts of engaging people in digital fundraising and the social media space. So do uh, tell a story. Um, you know, social media is an amazing platform for communicating and telling stories, particularly around with using video. Um, also, uh, again, thank people on social media and then demonstrate your impact. Uh, social media is in a very powerful platform to be able to demonstrate the impact your cause has and to demonstrate that and, and then have that to be shared and followed and communicated. That's actually part of being coming viral. If you can get really good communication going, a good impact story, and have the ability to have that shared more broadly, you all of a sudden have more eyeballs and followers looking at what you're doing. And then it's a matter of ultimately converting those to becoming donors. Um, but the first step is is to, to capture the audience, tell your story, thank them. And then the things of not to do is um, don't ask for money up front. If all you do is have an appeal up front asking for money, you'll turn off uh, probably about 90% of potential donors. You have no connectivity with them. You're just one of many different organizations that are competing for the resources and time. And that's uh, that's not an effective um, an effective strategy just to make a, a flat out appeal, however good the appeal is or not, without creating an initial rapport with a, a donor, a potential donor. And the other thing too is don't treat all social media the same. Facebook is different from Twitter, different from LinkedIn, different from Instagram. One of the mistakes we see is everybody has the exact same message across all platforms and they're different types of users, there are different personalities, there's different um, different types of donors in different uh, social media networks and understand that, respect it and also test it. Test some of the messaging. A lot of people make the mistake of saying the exact same message across all social media. Um, so mix it up, change some of the message, test some of the communication across different types of social media, even within Facebook, try three or four messages see what sort of response rate you get, and then measure that, and then adjust it as you go along. Now, those tend to be successful ways uh, of uh, doing social media engagement outreach.